Hey, I'm Tony Kyle, I'm the How To Hero, and I wanted to talk to you real quick about why I do not use landscape fabric in my landscaping. Now, I can't say I've never used it, I just prefer not to use it now that I'm a little older and a little wiser. I have owned a landscape company, in fact, I've owned a couple of them years ago in my early 20s, mid 30s. Um, so I've got a little bit of experience with this stuff, but right here, you can see behind me, this is a flower bed that we took out a couple of Bradford pear trees and you know they'd gotten to their really their lifespan they you know brad pears get a big crotch and they'll start to split so we got rid of those trees well in here was 40 years worth of landscape fabric and i'll show you some pictures here in a minute show you a little video of what we pulled out of here uh we're talking six to eight inches thick worth of roots and the landscape fabric remember landscape fabric does not work it's porous it lets roots grow through it can let roots go through the water goes through obviously roots can penetrate through the layers and what happens is those roots run between the layers and form a dense mat which also keep in mind landscape fabric does not break down it is not biodegradable so what you put down stays down and that's great if you're trying to keep rid of weeds but when it doesn't work now you've got a mess of plastic it does not break down it's, it's, it's just terrible stuff to have on your property why would you go out there and do it you wouldn't throw it out on the side of the road why would you put it in your own yard i guess is what i'm getting at so it doesn't work it doesn't break down and because of the root growth it is impossible almost impossible to remove effectively and efficiently so what we end up doing my girls my daughters helped me they would roll pull back on the on, on the plastic edges that we could get and the fabric edges that we could get and i would take a shovel and i would go underneath and try to cut the roots as we were moving and we were able to roll it up like a giant burrito in sections um like i said there was three layers over 40 probably around 40 years worth the uh tree roots had gotten so big some parts are actually still stuck under roots that are you know a couple of inches thick the plastic had was under the roots had grown over it and so it's in essence trapped the reason we did this we're getting the we took the trees down we're having the stumps ground and i did not want my stump grinder coming out here and having to fool with this stuff because basically it was going to make it you know his machine would make this stuff confetti um and that's just a huge mess so i was able to get most of it out of here another reason why i don't use it is because of my dogs who are here playing in the yard they you know dogs especially the bigger dogs she's a boxer black boxer you know they like to chew on things like tear things up they like to get a hold of things she loves to run around the yard with sticks and things of that nature well she saw the black plastic and black fabric sticking up so what does she do she jumps in there grabs it by the mouth full rips it out of the ground and refuses to come back well what happens if she swallows that stuff now i'm having to get i'm having to get you know i'm having to get surgery done on my dog to get her you know to get her stomach opened up so she can get that stuff out so remember this stuff's just terrible for the environment it's terrible for your animals and it's terrible for your back and it's really terrible for your wallet especially throwing money and then burying it under something you know use some you know use mechanical means you can pull weeds it's not that hard you can use spray i'm not saying i'm not i'm not against using a chemical you know you got to use it responsibly of course use a spray use your you know, mechanical means or whatever and get rid of this stuff and i'm going to show you some pictures now and some video of, of what we pulled out of here and how bad it really was and man if i, I if i hadn't had my kids help me we could have never got this done it took us about three and a half four hours um, to get this stuff done and we've tilled it up now but i'm going to show you some of the virgin dirt too as well of, of what we did so right here you can see the stump now when i cut this stump out before I took the plastic and stuff up, the uh, the stump was cut down to the ground. It was level. Um, I don't know if you can really tell in the video here. It was level, cut with the ground. When we removed the uh, when we removed the uh, landscape fabric, you can see it created where the roots are at. It created a void. I mean, you're talking four to five inches deep void. It was a man of nothing but roots and landscape fabric void that was there. That's how much this stuff was. I mean, it was keeping the, the weeds were out, but the tree roots itself that you can see there growing up had grown through the fabric, through the mat, and had created just a, a network of almost impossible to break root system. Um, and it had created, when you walked on it, it was like walking on a sponge. You actually feel it giving that, that four or five inch you give. And in between the layers was you could tell where people had put pine bark and things like that in there. So uh, that's an, just a little kind of little insight on that. All right, so I told you I'd show you some video of, of why I choose not to use this. Now this truck's not full of the bark. I've got some logs underneath of it, some cut logs from a tree. But you can see, this is the network of roots 
there's the plastic. This is the network of stuff that we fought getting out of the ground for several hours. I mean, it's not even, I'm not even able to do it justice here, but you see, this is, I mean, just huge, huge rolls. We were able to cut it and roll it up. And then these bags right here, these bags are full of pieces that we were able to get out. I had to use a tiller on something to get it broke up because it was the plastic stuff. And no matter what you did, you were just fighting the pieces. So I had to cut it with a tiller and then, um, and then roll it, or excuse me, cut it with a tiller and then rake it out. I mean, these are just, look at this. And this is just a fat roll of, of, of roots and pine bark and dirt and, and the fabric. So that's why I do not use landscape fabric in my landscaping anymore. And I suggest that you don't either.